Not too long ago, I shared a video taking a look at the performance of LOL Miner 1.6 while mining Flux with NVIDIA cards. In that video, I skimmed over the fact that performance gains were also made with AMD cards, especially with the 5000 and 6000 series generation. In this video, we're going to take time out and look at mining performance with a small rig of RX 6700 XT cards. Before we get started though, let me share the overclocks that are being used. To get our baseline, let's revisit an older version of LOL Miner. For today, we'll use 1.28A. For each test, I will have let the miner crunch numbers on average of 5 minutes. Let's take a look at the results. Note that the average for the individual cards is 33 solutions, creating a rig average of 99. To a degree, this number has always been disappointing, and for that reason, many of us had chosen to use a different software or put our AMD cards to different projects. It was not until more recently that Mini Z was supporting the AMD lineup of cards to mine Flux. So now let's shift gears and take a look at Mini Z version 1.9 Z3. Again, after 5 minutes, we see that the individual cards are mining at nearly 39 to 40 solutions, giving the rig an average of just over 118. Compared to the older LOL minor version, this is good, providing practically an 18% productivity boost. Let's see where the latest version, 1.61, of LOL minor lines up. The first expectation is an improvement over 1.28, since the developer is claiming up to 20%. Let's have the minor start, and we'll take a look. After several minutes, the cards are running at about 38 to 39 solutions, and the rig's average is 116, delivering a 17% improvement. Of course, these are my overclocks, so your experience may vary. This improvement makes me happy. It makes my enthusiasm for Flux that much more. In my opinion, this puts... LOL Miner at the same level of Mini Z when looking specifically at the AMD 6000 lineup. What about the older 5000 cards? Let's jump over to another rig where I have several RX 5600 XT cards. For this review, I'm going to layer the results allowing us to review them side by side. Looking at version 1.28 of LOL Miner, we see that the 5600 XT at best are reaching 22 solutions, performing more poorly than a 1660 Super. Originally, I wanted to show you Mini Z's performance on these cards, but unfortunately, I have had no success in getting the software to work, so I plugged in the latest version of Gminer instead. Unfortunately, on the AMD platform, Gminer does not have much to contribute with only a high of 19 solutions on the 5600 XT. Let's finally bring up LOL Miner 1.61. We should all be smiling right now. The developer's time rewriting the code has really paid off, delivering up to 33 solutions on the RX 5600 XT and an improvement of 33%. This demonstrates a stark reminder that the community does not always have to look to the GPU manufacturers to increase productivity. Owners of the 5000 generation of cards truly have a reason to rethink their mining strategies. In case of Flux, efficiency has really been improved. Like last time, I took an opportunity to share a small rant. I found that it helped my blood pressure. So allow me to entertain you for just a quick moment. By now, you most likely have seen the launch of the 4090, along with the newest NVIDIA drivers. For us miners, we were given the news of the LHR being removed. What does this show us as a community? Simply, it demonstrates NVIDIA tapping you on the shoulder and allowing you to stand up after sliding the broomstick out. 
The GPU shortage of last year could have been handled differently, and frankly, Newegg and Micro Center had introduced methods that successfully influenced any one person's purchasing power. Best Buy introduced their own approach with the selling of the founder cards. Yet NVIDIA thought it was prudent for them to control what you could do with your property, because they, or the gaming community, didn't like what you were doing with the product that you purchased. Again, your property, your GPU. Perhaps most disturbing is for the first time, we, the consumer, was punished for how we used our GPU, and this sets a grossly and disturbing precedence. What about next time? Will it be the mining community? What about the gaming community? When some woke employee finds that the game is too violent? What about the politician who doesn't like the website you visit? NVIDIA demonstrated that they will design a product, they will sell you that product, and they will control what you can do with that product. It would be too easy to simply say, don't buy NVIDIA, but they developed the RTX 3070, and that's a hard card to ignore. But we are given a reason to appreciate AMD's participation in the GPU industry. And while they have only begun, we should welcome Intel to create more competition. Back to the original topic though. Previously, I had implied that AMD cards may be best left for the compile algorithm. And while that still is valid, the improvements obtained within LOL Miner are significant and introduces new opportunities when mining flux. If you're mining flux on AMD cards, share your experience in the comments below. A like on the video is always appreciated, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.